today is day 50 of the ride, April 6th on a Saturday. We came from Av Avondale, suburb of uh, Phoenix, and uh, we just climbed a hill up out of Phoenix. So it's a very nice day, uh, nice temperature. So yeah, now we're back out where you got the big cactuses and the rolling hills. When we were coming for a long time, we had long fields and then the mountains were in the background. But whenever you get to where the mountains close in, it means you're gonna be climbing. But it's all good. It wasn't a real hard climb. Uh, we have 55 miles to Gala Bend. And then Sunday we have a really big run, probably a little over 80 miles to try to get to Yama, I believe it is. And there's no way to sort of break that up. Here's the canals. You see these everywhere. They have canals and they irrigate. And we're just getting out of the place where you can see Oh, that's irrigated stuff. Very green. But the only way it's green is if it's irrigated. So I remember when I was on the harvest crew and we were in El Central, California. Those guys used to say because they irrigate, they can lose money three times a year. So we're on old Route 80 headed toward Gorilla Bend and we came across this huge dairy operation. There's just barns and barns of cows. And fields and stuff out there. They must have to feed a lot of feed. Goodness gracious, they have cows. It just keeps going. here at Dateland, Arizona. Uh, <clears throat> but these are the date trees. I asked a lady the other day and she said they plant these and they actually grow dates. So yeah, so we stopped in here. This is actually the travel center the Dateland Travel Center where we got a date shake. We already have 65 in, we have 86 to do. We just came up over what they call Mohawks Pass. We've had a constant sort of uphill, but this is was, was a little steeper. There's where we came up. Before it was just a really flat plains or a slow uphill. Then we came into this really rugged stuff they call Mohawk Pass. Fortunately, then we do have uh, the rest of the way looks like we have a pretty nice downhill uh, or at least a downhill slope uh, the rest of the way. So, there is some pretty purple flowers that I've seen I ought to take a picture of for Sandra. But, yeah, it's, it's a very beautiful day. The wind's been in our favor. Not strong, but at least in our face. So, it's been a great riding day. All right. Coming into Welton, we finished our longest ride, 88 miles today. That was mostly because we had good, favorable wind. 
And this is where we're ending up for the night. Desert Motel. Day 51. Longest ride yet. Day 52, April 7th, from Welton to Yuma. It's been a lot of change of scenery. It's been a nice ride. Uh, temperature's good. We have had some wind, but sometimes it's at our back, depends how we turn, so. We have reached Yuma. Yuma, Arizona is just a little bit south of California and to the south of Yuma is the border of Mexico. Um, it's a nice place here. When we left Welton this morning, we were soon in the Dome Valley, which is a beautiful valley that um, has lots of fertile farmland that apparently grows most of the leafy vegetables that we eat in the winter time, like lettuce and kale. Um, after that, we rode up into an area that was called the U.S. Army Proving Ground and then into a recreational area following that and then came right back down into um, the valley again and um, saw lots of other beautiful farmland there as well with farmers working. Um, it was a pretty pleasant day to ride. You can see the clouds in the sky. It's beautiful. Um, maybe in the 70s right now. Um, it was a pleasant, pretty pleasant ride except for we had some headwinds that we dealt with um, as well as a, um, some pretty rough roads right at the end. Day 53, this is the Imperial Valley, we're riding right along 8 in the last stretch. This is a bigger highway, but there's fine land all around. So. Right now we're going with the wind. Almost all day we were going against the wind. And we turned. So it's nice riding right now. Okay. See you down the trail. Here's an even better picture of Trump's wall. Look at that thing. It goes way out through there. <clears throat> so on the other side of that is Mexico.
here we are headed for our motel we're like a half a mile away from the the wall it just runs the whole way along there the whole other side is Mexico those cows are in Mexico but here's Trump's well it runs the whole way along there all right it's very pretty here beautiful day okay it's day 55 April 11th Thursday it's our last day that we're going to be doing like 55 miles we're going into Santee and then we only have like 20 miles to the end so it's really our last full day of riding we'll have a half day on Friday and then we've <clears throat> we're flying home on Saturday so but here's heading down through we have really nice temperatures right now it was you wanted a long sleeve shirt on this morning but that's nice for bike ride yesterday afternoon it got a little too hot but here's Good morning, it's day 56 and we're here uh, at Carl Jr's, just got breakfast and we're ready to head toward the coast, we're in Santee, it's a little misty, sort of drizzly, but we have 20 miles or so to the coast, so it'll be our last day, so we're hoping to pick up uh, rental vehicle to get our bikes to the bike shop and get to the airport and things so last day we're very excited well, we're getting ready to start a trail two and a half mile trail along the river here should be a nice ride it's misty cool that's nice ride weather so Looks quite scenic out there. Right. They do say we're going to have some ups and downs. I don't know why there's cars on here for some reason. On your left. Huh. Another car. And no cars were allowed to be on here. Certainly glad we're not down there. Busy road, going into San Diego.